What's up, y'all? Simple little video today. Got myself some cheese. Gonna be doing another little cheese taste test because you know I need my cheese. This I've never seen or heard of until yesterday. I discovered it randomly when I was browsing. This is a uh, tête de moine, AOP, which is French supposedly for monk's head. This is some old school monk cheese. You can see the shape is very interesting. It kind of looks like the hair of an old monk. You know, that circular little mop they had on the top. And the cheese right here actually does have some interesting history. It's not just the shape, but it was actually produced by monks, supposedly, over 800 years ago. I think back in the 12th century, monks in the mountaintop monasteries were making this, and they used it to pay off their rent for their lands. And I found that an interesting fact. So this cheese is, uh, you could say ancient. It's produced in Switzerland these days. That's where these monks were living. So two cool things about this to me, at least, both the form factor and the history. Let's take this out of the packaging. I paid about 13 bucks for this, so not too bad. It is 100 grams. So It's probably a little bit blown out, hold on. What have we here? I've never seen cheese in this. Oh, okay. Honestly, I didn't know if it was gonna be a full you know, ring or, but it appears that it's cut into these little like flower petal-esque wedges here. And smelling good. I don't have anything to pair it with, unfortunately. But, uh, but we're just gonna be eating this on its own. It almost looks like cauliflower once it separates like this. I'm gonna plate this up just for a little bit of presentation. But let's try this out. One more glimpse at what we're working with. I will play around with this a little bit more. I'm gonna to try to unravel one of these pieces. But for the first one, just going straight in. That's nice. I just, ah, man, it just makes me wish I had some crackers or something. Let's try to unravel this piece right here and see, try to delve into, okay. Okay, I, I don't know. Have y'all seen cheese like this before? I just, maybe I've been living under a rock or something, but just very interesting to me. The way it's cut is just so weird to me, but I like it a lot. This is kind of like bridging the gap between like a more solid white cheese and like a softer, uh, more creamier cheese. It's got a little bit of both in there. I have a feeling that if it wasn't cut like this, it would just resemble more of like a, a solid block of cheese, but it really makes it nice and easy to eat. Gives it that creaminess when it is cut thinly like this. It's basically shaved off the block. Uh, they have this special device that they, that they use to cut it like this. They have a whole Wikipedia page on it. You can check it out if you want. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. I don't know if anyone else would be curious about this, but... Mm. In my opinion, this would go so good with just about anything. Any use that you'd want. Put it on crackers, put it on a sandwich, put it on... Mix it with pasta in a chili uh, pizza. You name it. You name it. It almost smells, it's, this, I might be tripping, but it almost smells like a flower when you smell it like this. Not too salty, not as well balanced all, all the way around. Perfect amount of flavor. It's not funky. It's, I think anyone would like this. And if you threw this down on a our charcuterie board, the presentation alone would add a lot to it. And I would highly recommend this. Real nice flavor, real nice mouthfeel. Wine comes to mind once again. 
if I had a glass of wine, some crackers, some meats, some pickles, some dill pickles, I think, would pair well, olives, mmm. But yeah, like I said, simple little video, just another little cheese taste test. I really enjoyed this one. The last one I did, I think, it was Mimolette. Uh, both good, though. And uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. I never looked at that until now, but you can kind of see on the label there, those monks making that cheese. And they got that classic monk hairstyle, man. That's a cra one of the craziest hairstyles that you'll ever see. That's crazy. All right. I'm skating out of here. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.